Assalamualaikum Today our group will be presenting about subject Takaful Industry in Malaysia So our group members consist of The first presenter is me, Muhammad Amirul The second presenter is Muhammad Adib Third presenter is Muhammad Amir Fahim And the last presenter is Muhammad Rashdan So the content of our presentation is The first one, background of the Takaful Industry in Malaysia Second, framework of Malaysian Takaful Industry Next, key differences of Takaful Act 1984 and IFSA 2013 And the lastly, conclusion So, I will explain about background of the Malaysia Takaful Industry Definition of Takaful Takaful is a type of Islamic insurance In which members contribute financially to a pool system In order to protect one another from loss or damage The importance of Takaful is due to the presence of prohibited elements In conventional insurance, Muslims are prohibited from purchasing it Given the undeniable importance of insurance In risk management, Muslims and Muslim scholar propose that Islamic insurance be introduced to meet Muslims' necessaries. The beginning of Takaful industry in Malaysia. A special task force was formed on 25 October 1982 to investigate the possibility of constructing Islamic insurance comparison in Malaysia. The study went successfully by observing the experience and progress of current insurance companies in this country as well as work visits to to other countries which have already implemented Islamic insurance. Next, background of the Malaysia Takaful industry. First Takaful company in Malaysia, Syarikat Takaful Malaysia Berhad, also known as Syarikat Takaful or Takaful Malaysia. In 2013, it was Malaysia's second largest Takaful operator behind Etika for both family and general Takaful. In 1996, it was admitted to the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange, Syarikat Takaful has a subsidiary in Indonesia It's Syarikat Takaful Indonesia which has Bank Muamalat Indonesia as a partner Syarikat Takaful follows the Wakala model in which it, the shareholder fund manage the fund raised by Takaful contribution in exchange for a service charge All fund participants and Syarikat Takaful may be entitled to a share of fund surplus if they contribute Tabaruk to the fund By 2017, the company plans to make an acquisition to broaden and meet the Islamic Financial Service Act known as IFSA 2013 requirement that Takaful operators separate their family and general Takaful license by 2018. So that's all from me. Now I will pass the presentation to Mama Adib. Thank you, Amirul. So my name is Mama Amir Fahim. I will present to you about the framework of Takaful industry in Malaysia. There will be three things I will be present. The first one for the key milestones, and then the history and development of Takaful industry in Malaysia. And then the third one, which is the governance of Takaful. First, we go through the key milestones for Takaful industry in Malaysia. There are three phases. The first phases, the second phase, and the third phases. I will be explaining one by one. So let's go through the first phases. In October 1982, the setting up of special task force to explore the viability of setting up an Islamic insurance company. And then, in 1983, the establishment of Islamic Bank. And then, in 1984, in November, the first Takaful operator incorporated. And December, uh, the Takaful Act was enacted. In 1985. Syarikat Takaful Malaysia Berhad started its operations. And in 1988, in May, Bank Negara Malaysia entrusted with the regulatory and supervisory role over the insurance and Takaful industries. So the first one, in 1983, in October, Malaysian International Insurance commenced its operations. And then in 1995, the setting up of a group, Asian Takaful Group. And then in 1997, Members of the National Sharia Advisory Council for Islamic Banking and Takaful have been appointed. Then, in the same month in 1997, incorporation of Asian Enri Takaful International Limited in the International Offshore Financial Center Labuan. And then the next year, MNI Takaful changed its name to Takaful National Sri Rambarhat. So then, uh, in 2001, started the third phase. So, uh, in February 2001, establishment of Islamic Bank and Finance Institute Malaysia. 
And then in March, BNM launched financial sector masterpiece. In the next year, which is in 2002, Malaysia Takaful Berhad commenced its operation. And then in 2005, began the Takaful operation license were distribution. Then in 2012, Takaful operational framework and the revised Sharia governance framework. And then in the last one, the 2014, risk based capital for Takaful taken to be enforced. Then I'll be explaining about the objectives through all the three phases. So, in the phase one, which is in the year 1984 to 1992, started with the enactment of a dedicated regulatory law, the Takaful Act 1984 and the establishment of the first Takaful operator in 1984. The primary focus during this period was the establishment of the basic infrastructure for the industry. This act, which is still in use, is enacted to govern the conduct of Takaful business and requires the registration of Takafu operators. It also provides for the establishment of Sharia Committee to ensure that the business operations of a Takaful operator are in compliance with Sharia principles at all times. And then in the phase two, which is in the year 1993 until 2000, it marked the introduction of the competition with the entry of another Takaful operator. This period also saw greater cooperation among Takaful operators in the region, including the formation of the Asian Takaful Group in 1995 and the establishment of Asian Ritakafu International Limited in 1997. This has facilitated Ritakafu, so which is the reinsurance arrangements among Takafu operators in Malaysia and in the region, namely Brunei, Indonesia and Singapore. And then in the last phase, which is in the phase 3, in the year 2001 to 2010. This phase began with the introduction of the financial sector master plan in 2001, which among other objectives is to enhance the capacity of Ritakafu operators and strengthen the legal Sharia regulatory framework. The section of the financial sector master plan, which relates to Islamic banking and takaful, is a roadmap towards realizing the aspiration of Malaysia becoming uh, an international center for Islamic finance. This period has so far witnessed an increased pace of development and competition with the licensing of three new operators to further promote the development of the takaful industry. The Malaysian Takaful Association, which is the MTA. An association of uh, Takaful operators was established in 2002. The MTA also aspires to improve industry self-regulation through uniformity in the market practices and in promoting a higher level of cooperation among the players in developing the industry. So then we go through, we, we look at the difference or what has been developed during the during 20 years of Takaful industry in Malaysia. The first one, the operators. In 1984, sole composite operator with 100 million ringgit Malaysia capital that sets foundation for the industry. Compared to 2004, the operators, four composite operators with minimum capital of 100 Malaysian ringgit million for each, which promotes competition. And then the investors or the shareholders, an Islamic bank and state religious consists and foundation for 1984. Meanwhile, in 2004, it already had private investors, banking groups, insurers, and reinsurer with one Takafu operator listed in Bursa, Malaysia. Then, gov government and regulators. In 1984, the government setting the foundation for the introduction of Takaful by providing basic regulation. Meanwhile, it has been developed by providing enabling environment for the development of Takaful industry and setting strategic direction in the medium and long term which is in 2004. Then it changes among customers. In 1984, the customers are, among, are mainly Muslims. Meanwhile, in 2004, there are also non-Muslim, but they, everyone in the, every customer had their demand and target for their goals. And then distribution channel. In 1984, it has branches and marketing offices only. In 2004, it already has branches, marketing offices, Agency force, bank, chat, bank takaful, brokers, internet, and strategy alliances. For the investment venues, in 1984, it only has to be confined to Islamic deposits and government Islamic securities. Meanwhile, in 2004, it already has developed to wider range of investment instruments issued by the government and the private sector. So then I go through the governance of takaful. For the first one in section 52, section A, the governor of the BNM shall be the director general of Takaful. 
Then in section 8, the Director General is responsible for registration which may or may not be made with the conditions. In section 8, subsection 5, before the registration, the General Director shall be satisfied with the first one, Takaful's goals and operations will not include any elements are not Sharia compliant. And then, it also need to be satisfied by a provision for the information of a Sharia advisory body to advise on its operations Takaful enterprise. Then, in section 10, the Director General has the authority to impose registration conditions on an operator who is already registered under the Act. And then, for the Sharia governance of Takaful, in section 53, uh, 53A, it said that a Takaful operator, agent, broker or adjuster may seek the advice of the SAC, Sharia Advisory Council, of Bank Negara Malaysia on Sharia matters relating to Takaful business and they shall comply with the advice of the SAC. In the section 11, it said that registration may be cancelled if the operator is pursuing aims or carrying on operations involving any element which is not approved by Sharia or non-Sharia compliance. Then I will pass to Adib for continuing the presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you to the past presenter. Then my name is Muhammad Adib. I will proceed to the key differences for Takaful Act 1984 and Islamic Financial Services Act 2013. Okay, for the definition of Takaful Act 1984, defines Takaful as a scheme aims to provide formal financial aid to the participants and the participants agree to contribute for such purpose. Okay, for the Islamic Financial uh, Services Act 2013, defines as an arrangement based on mutual assistance under which Takaful participants agree to contribute to a common fund okay then i will proceed to release date for the full act 1984 and islamic financial services act 2013 for the act 1984 uh, the full act 1984 was gazette for publication on 31 december 1994 for Islamic Financial Services Act 2013 were published in the Government Gazette on the 22 2nd of March 2013 Okay Then, what is impact on Takaful industry? Okay, for impact on Takaful industry in Takaful Act 1984 is single in single license Takaful business is uh, they allow Takaful operators to carry the post business from the same company but for Islamic Financial Services Act 2013 uh, they most of composite Takaful operator are more focusing on family Takaful and then Islamic Financial Services Act 2013 also requires Takaful operators with a composite license to separate family business from its general Takaful business Okay, that's all. Okay, and the last one is the conclusion of this project. The conclusion is a uh, Takaful is an insurance scheme that is Sharia compliant. Takaful in Malaysia and elsewhere is relatively young when compared to other sectors of the financial industry, but it has enjoyed robust growth. However, despite the robust growth, the penetration rate for Takaful in Malaysia and elsewhere remains small and indicates that there is significant opportunity for future growth. And uh, there are challenges facing the Takaful industry in Malaysia and elsewhere. The challenges range from the competitive elements, business model and processes, changing, changing customers' needs and demand for better product choices, more efficient delivery channels, and more customer friendly practices from Takaful operators and having to cope with serious threat on profitability arising from the recent global financial crisis. In the context of Malaysia, um, the government is committed to promote Takaful and to make Malaysia a Takaful and re Takaful hub in Southeast Asia. This paper provided a brief 
on the tangible industry in Malaysia and elsewhere consequently further and in-depth study is required. That's all from our group. Thank you for watching.